So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to this League SBC Vitaglia review. Now, earlier today, EA released the uh, Portuguese League League SBC and the rewards for completing it are either an 84 rated uh, Bataglia or an 84 rated Nakajima. Now, in this video today, we're going to be focusing on the Argentinian, but if you guys do want to see a review on uh, Nakajima, leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments and I'll try and get that video out for you guys as soon as possible. But obviously, in today's video, we're going to be focusing on Bataglia, who looks absolutely insane. He's an 84 overall, who has 80 plus rated stats in every single category on his card. So uh, I'm pretty excited to try this card out because uh, it looks really freaking good. Also, this guy is 6'2 and He's got a medium high work rate, so he actually could be a really freaking good CDM. Um, anyway, before we get into things, like I said, if you could leave a like rating on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Leave a comment as well, letting me know your thoughts on this card. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. I upload content like this on a regular, so uh, if this is your thing, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Anyway, let's get into the player review portion of the video, shall we? This is the team we're going to be using this guy in. Um, I'm going to start in a 4-4-2 to try him out as a centre mid, but I'm also going to play him as a CDM in the 4-2-3-1 formation. So, let's look deeper into this card, shall we? Like I said, he's 6 foot 2 and he's got medium high wear crits, and he's also got a 4-star weak foot, which should help his distribution. In-game attributes wise, there is plenty of good stuff to see. There's also a couple of uh, notable negatives on this page as well. So uh, his pace for a centre mid looks pretty good. Don't really have too many complaints about that. The shooting section though is pretty interesting. He's got 91 shot power, 94 long shots and 90 attack positioning. So uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this guy is in front of goal. And it's also going to be interesting to see what his positioning is like in game. Obviously, he's got medium high work rates, but he's also got a really high attacking position in stat. His passing attributes are also decent. He's got a 91 rating for his short passing and 89 long passing. So his distribution um, should, in theory, be very good as well. Over in the dribbling department, this item has an 87 rating for in-game dribbling, 89 ball control and uh, 86 composure. So on the ball, he should be pretty solid, but... He doesn't have the best agility, so in-game, he might feel pretty heavy on the ball. Also, his balance isn't the best. Uh, over in the defensive department, he's got an 85 rating for interceptions, 86 stand tackle, and 84 defensive awareness. So far, this card's looking really freaking good. There are so many good dark green attributes. And then finally, we arrive in the physical column, which um, shows that this guy has really good stamina of 92, decent strength of 81, and really high aggression of 94. Overall, like I've said, this card looks great. On paper, this card looks absolutely amazing. So let's get into some games. Let's try it out and see if this card performs as well as these attributes do indeed suggest. Okay, so for the debut of the Argentinian, this is what we are facing. It is a full Premier League side, which features the likes of One to Watch Pepe and a couple of Foot Champs items. Um, I'm going to presume that this guy is trying to do one of the PL player um, objectives for that Trossard. Is Wijnaldum, who is dispossessed of the ball there by Bataglia, who can now bring the ball forward. Oh, a nice bit of attacking play here. Bataglia is through on goal, and wow! I was expecting that shot to go wide, but it's gone right in the back of the net. Insane shot power from the midfielder. And um, he's got a goal on debut. Here's Bataglia, puts the ball through. Nice through ball for Ian Wright, who's got a chance to score now, but... Oh, he's still got a chance to score! But Foster saves. Taglia is going to try and switch play with a nice through ball over the top there to Pavon. Guardiola finds Ian Wright. He finds Vitaglia, who's making a very attacking run, almost running down the wing there. Pavon gets the ball back inside. The Argentinian gets a bit of space and takes off the shot. And he's got two goals in the first 25 minutes. That one coming in off the post. What a rocket of a shot that was. Like, it was just destined to kiss the post and go into the back of the net. And after that second goal, my opponent has decided to rage quit. So uh, let's quickly move on in to another match. Up next for the Argentinian hull, it is, geez, um, a really good side. My opponent's team features the likes of Mbappe, Son, Flashback Mata, a couple of icons, an ultimate screen PK. Um, 
yeah, it's uh, it's a really good team. Chance to bring the ball forward now. Bataglia tries to slide it through to Aubameyang. It's a nice pass. Here's Martial. Plays the ball in to Bataglia, who just gets knocked off the ball there by my opponent's Guardiola. We've got ourselves a penalty, so we're obviously going to take it with the Argentinian. Um, I'm really unsure what to do with the penalty. Let's just go through the middle, and we're going to score. Whew, I was worried I was going to miss. Martial trying to find a bit of space. Finds Bataglia, who goes for the shot. And he's put that in the back of the net. And just like that, we've turned this game on its head. This guy loves a long shot. His shots are so powerful. Look at that. The power on it. And it just actually swerves around the goalkeeper. Fantastic finish. And there is the halftime whistle. At the break, we have ourselves a two-goal lead. Well, this is a bit weird. I actually didn't realise that I changed formation at the start of the game. So uh, Bataglia was already playing CDM in that first half. And Ian Wright, as you can see, was playing at CDM as well. And Guardiola was on the wing. So uh, let's fix that for the second half, shall we? Here's Bataglia bringing the ball forward. Through ball to Ian Wright. And then the through ball for Aubameyang. Can Aubameyang get an opening for his shot? Hopefully. Finds Bataglia. He's going to go for it from distance. But... Um, he got knocked when taking off that shot and ended up just pinging it over the bar. Looked like a bit of a turpuck there. It's Bataglia brings the ball forward. Puts the ball through for Martial. We'll go for the early chip. And we won't miss from there. And uh, there's five. And there's the full-time whistle. We get ourselves a 5-2 win. Um, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty mad game. But... Um, you know what? I will take it. Pretty happy with my performance in that game. Um, but Taglia got himself two goals and an assist as well. So that was uh, pretty impressive. I'm still amazed that in the first half he was playing as a CDM. Uh, because he got forward a lot. But um, I guess that's his attacking positioning coming into play. Another game and another set of icons are facing us. This time we are up against um, Baby Carlos and Baby Cliver. Nice tackle there, nice block as well from the Argentine. And now we might have a chance to counter attack because of it. Bataglia linking up with Pep. Now linking up with Aubameyang. Can he get on the end of that? He can, but sadly, the shot has gone wide. Really nice attacking run from the midfielder there. Just surging through the defence. Chance now. Ian Wright slides the ball through. Bataglia through on goal, but sadly just took a bit of a, bit of a heavy touch when under pressure there and it allowed him not to control the ball. Okay, so at halftime in this game, the scoreline is two goals apiece. And we have fallen behind twice in this match, but both occasions we've uh, pulled it back. As you can see though, um, it has been a relatively close first half. In the second half, we're going to play in the 4-2-3-1 formation. And hopefully, you know, just be a bit tighter defensively. Uh oh chance now as Ryan Fraser tries to get down the wing. But Bataglia is pretty freaking quick. And he caught up to him and nudged him off the ball. Nice, again by Bataglia. He's very physical, I love it. Good play there by Bataglia. Great bit of play, still going. Bataglia tries to get the shot away, but he's eventually blocked by Bailly. And there's the full-time whistle. We get ourselves a 4-3 victory. And, um, wow, that was a very close game. That was actually a pretty fun game to play. I kept going behind, but I kept coming back and eventually got the win. I thought Bataglia in that game was really solid, especially in the second half in that CDM role. So I'm um, pretty happy with all of his performances thus far. Anyway guys, that is the live gameplay now done for you. We're now going to get into the summary where I'm going to give my verdict on this absolutely incredible looking Argentinian centre mid. So after playing around with Bataglia a bit more, what are my thoughts on this card? Well, as you can see, I've given him a very good overall rating. And that's because I really do think this card is very good in game. It's definitely an effective midfielder item. And you can use this card either as a centre mid or as a DM. And he's going to do a good job in pretty much either of those roles. You could use him as a cam, but he's got medium high work rates and his agility isn't the best. So I wouldn't advise using him in that role because you're not going to get the best out of him in those positions. Either use him as a centre mid or as a DM. Now, if you're thinking about a chem style, um, honestly, I think the basic chem is the best chem style to have for him if you're going to use him as a centre mid. But if you're going to use him as a DM, then I probably would go for something like Anker or 
um, Shadow, just you know, just to boost those defensive stats. Anyway, let's break things down, shall we? How was this guy in game? Well, first of all, as you can imagine, the pace I have no complaints about in game for a centre mid. This guy is very very quick and you definitely notice that in game he can track back to catch up to most players which is awesome in front of goal i thought his shooting was pretty impressive uh, his finishing inside the box is very average but his long shots and power shots are absolutely brilliant and that was something that was very pleasing his positioning was quite interesting to me obviously he's got medium high work rates so he does sit back and defend at times but uh, when this guy gets a sniff and just wants to go forward he goes forward. He makes some very attacking runs. So that is definitely something to bear in mind. If you're going to use him as a DM and if you want him to sit and defend, definitely put stay back while attacking on him or he will come forward. But if you're going to use him as like a box to box DM, just let him let him run free because uh, he does a really good job in both defense and attack. I thought his p passing was absolutely brilliant. I've got no complaints about that. His short distance and long distance passing were both brilliant. So pretty happy with his distribution. The dribbling on this card I thought was good but not too great, I definitely feel like the agility um, holds this card back in terms of uh, on the ball ability, ball control and all that good stuff that are very good in game and this item does protect the ball pretty well so he can hold up play nicely. Defensively I have no complaints, he made plenty of intercepts for me and uh, plenty of tackles which was very pleasing and then finally physically. I have no complaints once again. His stamina is brilliant. This guy can run pretty much all game long. He's quite strong in game and because he's got such high aggression, he battles a lot for the ball and most of the time wins those battles too. Aerially, he's alright as well. He doesn't have the best jumping, but because he's six foot two, he does win a decent amount of aerial battles. Overall, gotta say, very pleased with this item. It was very freaking good in game, and it is definitely an effective card to use in Ultimate Team. And I've got to be honest, he probably is worth his price tag. I'm looking on Footbin right now, and apparently the um, Portuguese League League SBC costs around 100k. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty good value for this card, to be honest. I would actually go as far to say that out of all the League SBC reward players, this one's probably the best value thus far. So guys, those are my thoughts on the Argentinian Hullet slash uh, Bataglia. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like rating on this video. And uh, yeah, if you want me to review any of the other League SB SBC players, let me know which ones in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.